you've been out on the course the last five to six days, you've likely noticed the markings, the red, white, and blue markings around the collars on greens. And this is sort of beginning to take shape and it, it, it's going to really start to show itself here over the next couple days. But what we've got is the red is the old cut line of the green. And then we've mowed with a separate mower the area between the red and the blue down to a height which is going to slowly bring this area down to the height of the putting surface. Then between the blue and the white is the new width of our collars and that's going to be a 21 inch width and that isn't just an arbitrary width, it's the width of our approach, our walking approach mowers. And what this will do is it'll allow those mowers to mow one pass around the greens in or when they mow the collar. And we've conservatively estimated that that's going to save us about 90, mana or 90 minutes of labor each time we mow approaches and collars. So then what you can see here is sod that's been removed. And this sod that was removed used to be collar sod. There was collar sod here. And that's been cut out and that will be bluegrass sod that's going to be installed here on Thursday. This old collar sod is going to be used in various areas throughout the course. Uh, cleaning up little areas around the greens, replacing some of these 21 inch collars that are poor turf with good turf. This sod that was removed from here is really good bent grass sod and in some places we'll replace collar areas with that sod that's been removed. So this is starting to take shape. Um, again, the reason for the 21 inch collar is it's a time saver. And if you've played um, classic courses like Northland, you've likely seen that they have a similar collar to this. It's a very clean look and uh, in no place did we lose putting surface by doing this. We've only gained. So I think it's a win-win.